Hey, ladies and peeps! It's time to play a deck that, in every casual player's mind, has the potential to be premium spaghetti. But in every seasoned man's balls, he knows it's absolute dog shit. So, you know what it is, right? She's seen it. That's why her eyeballs are falling out. We are playing hand to discard. It doesn't wake. It doesn't wake, you mag! But, but it's, you know, we'll try and have some fun. So, this guy is playing the... the squeebles. So, mm, bub, 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 I'm gonna take the pollen bright bollocks. So, I'm guessing that this guy is the... Uh, he's been watching our friend, a merchant who played, uh... Well, I saw a thumbnail of something like this, but, uh... I didn't need to watch it, because the man is balls and majeets. And I didn't need to know what was going on. So, here's the thing. Obviously, I started out with four Vicious Rumors, four Jurest, four Divest. The problem with that is, you get them quick times, and then blap. That's it. They got no cards in hand, but whatever they top deck, they can play. And you keep top decking shit, which is not ideal in the world, or in the world, in the world of Majiks. So the way this one works is... I don't know, you just fucking spam the shit out of everything and then bring it back with Sorin and then they have to discard it again and then you phone up baby Jeeves and you say, hey Jesus, suck my balls. So you can play Sorin. Sorin takes three. I think it's okay. Three at worst, I'm guessing. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Um, that's what I'm guessing. Three at worst. If he plays a land, alright, well now Sora instead. Maybe. Well, no. But he takes more of a slap than he he might have done. Alright, that's an interesting attack. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I mean... And now I'm just going to give that the moidles. But still, that's still good stuff. So, look for... Uh, what could I find? I think you take a land anyway. Right! You fucking mags! You mags! You stinking mags! So, I thought about playing this deck in a constructed event. And then I realized... Why? Why? Why am I subjecting myself to such bullshit uh, by wanking my dick? Alright, so, can't beat Ronus. And that's the end of the story. Can't beat Ronus. Ah, uh, there's nothing better than uh, cards, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, as soon as they hit the battlefield, you say, I can't beat that. Well, that's not bad. So let's think. Nah, let's not think. So blow everyone up next turn. Can't get nothing out of his hand, though. That's a bit of a shame. Didn't attack with this. Hopefully he plays a Carnage Tyrant. Why not attack with this? Well, it's not my job to find out. So, despite... Uh... Oh, I fucking pressed the end of turn. I was going to play Sorin, but yeah, fuck that up. Yeah, that's a balls up. That is a balls up, for my friends. So, draw a card. Primarily because if you don't tap that, it will just fuck yourself in the dick. Play this. What have we got? Nothing. That's literally the opposite of what I thought I had. So, because of that, I'm actually going to play uh, Shit Crafter. Make him discard his last card, and then when Ronus comes back, reanimate this, and he has to sacrifice Ronus. All right, well, it's just a land. That's not good. That's the opposite. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So what do we get? Evolution Sage, Druid, some weird troll thing. All right, so I got 19 life. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll get some more stuff. 
11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Go down to one. Yeah. That's how you play Majiks. Sacrifice this guy so he could be reanimated, right? So it doesn't sound like a reanimate deck. I mean, it doesn't sound like a discard deck, but he's got no cards in his hand. That's good enough. Your mags. Ah, ladies and plops. Ladies and plops. So it should be it should be the end next turn. So Ronus reanimate uh, sexy bollocks. He sacrifice Ronus, and then smash his balls, right? So I don't need this. I don't know why. I don't know. I will help you through this. So what was I saying at the beginning of this video? Yeah, I was going to play a constructed event because I would say. Well, you know, it's kind of a interesting uh, format, blah, 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 blah. but no one's playing constructed events uh, under the proviso of let's do something really interesting. And if it's all bolts, um, fuck it. Like for six mana and two black, no one is playing Haunt of the High Tower instead of Liliana, except me because it has synergistic squibbleages with people discarding cards and stuff. So that's why I want to play it. Fun. And if... I'm just not going to say that I feel like a pussy playing decks in free play. Because the amount of Esper Control or Mono Red that you would see... You know, fuck it. Plus, I've said before, anything goes except Mono Red. And to a similar extent, Mono Green and maybe Mono White Premiums. Mono White Cats, that's shit and one-dimensional, but you can do what you want. Still, I like this deck. It's got a lot of shit. It's got a lot of avenues for Majiks. Uh, mm, I think that's... Too, it, the mana's great. The cards are good. I think it's just too big. Fuck that. I'm keeping it. Didn't take me long to change my mind. So, ideally, you want a Duress, Divest, or Vicious Rumoirs. Otherwise, it's just a generic black-white deck. And if you're just going to go generic black-white... I don't know. What's the follow-up? Something about Tessa Thompson? I don't know. She even mixed race? I don't know. I thought she was English for the longest time. She fooled me. I've normally got a good eye for that kind of shit. So, I think you just find lands. Jurest a man. And, uh, yeah... Mm, I do need lands. Although we did see how good Sorin was. When left to reanimate his mum's ass. Alright, so that's pretty red for the for what's on the field for this dude. Uh, uh, that's pretty tricky. So that's got haste. That's bad. That's pretty sexy. Alright. I mean, I think I should have... I think I should have done the treasure map. Uh, but... He's just in such a bad... St he's such a bad state. Mm, Alright, I'll keep a land. So... What does he have? What did he have? Nothing. So he did have a lightning strike, which will be bad for the high tower. But if he doesn't draw any red, then what are you going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? So, if, like I said, if this was Liliana, how would that not be better? How would that not be better? But, you know, we're trying Majiks. We're trying to do things that we don't see every day. Look at this man reading the card. You're welcome, Maltra, to play the king of Majiks. Trying to do things that we don't see every day. It's unfortunate he didn't draw any la red. Because otherwise, we'd have had a real game. And I think I might have got 
smashed, possibly. But that's my cheeks. That's what happens when you you can't afford any jewel lands. So the reason why I'm not playing events or ranked is because if you put yourself in an environment where everyone who has a tiny knob thinks that this is an actual... Well, maybe it is an actual competition. But I don't think it is. And I, whatever I say goes. So this is a much better example of land hand destruction. Cosmotronic Rave and Sea Red. Alright, I don't have removalage for this guy. So I think I'm going to get rid of Sea Red. This is a very shit beginner's deck. Which I'm really surprised about. Because in my... Um, in my thingy games, in my um, warm-up games, I played legitimate Teferi Control and squibbled so many Planeswalkers in the first couple of turns he couldn't recover. But this does not look very good. So we'll play Basilica Bellend. Then we'll see what happens. Hopefully I draw a Kaya's Wrath and that will be that. So Soaring's in a weird spot. I think everybody's in a weird spot. So play Cosmotronic Wave. My die, my guy can't block. Attack with this. This gets a counter on it. That takes four. I take six. Play Soaring. Plus it. Didn't play Cosmotronic Wave. All right. That's a waste. I might I might goad him into playing the Cosmotronic now. Nope, didn't didn't even want it. So, next turn, Sorin. Bring back Bell End. Probably. Mm, gotta win on turn three, boys. You know the rules of Majiks. Gotta win on turn three. You tiny virgin slags. That's something. I so that's three, six. That's four. All right, it's my only chance. Good old Plague Wanks. So, I need him to not play any creatures or win on this turn. And then we can get him. That's not bad. That's not bad. You did it, sir. You did it. You managed to win with your tiny penis. Ah, <sighs> What are you going to do? I still, I don't know. I mean, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I didn't, but... Fuck it. Boros Agro Virginos. Five sweepers. We didn't see any. One Moidles. Did I see a Myrtle? I don't I think I might have. Either way, you know, that just feels like there wasn't much magic. On my on that man's end. Let me dump my hand, squeeze my dick. The classic new era of Magic the Gathering. Not let me consider my resources and do I use... Nope. Dump it, wank it. Magic 2019. For morons. The morons game. Heartstone. It used to be Heartstone for smarties. Now it's just fucking shitstone for cocks. That's a good win. Solid. Ah, uh, so I like I like this deck. I feel like it's got some shit, but at the same time, you know, it's got some flaws. But who hasn't? There are a lot of this. There's only two plague crafters in the whole deck and two Sorins. I don't know why they keep so showing up so often. So we'll start with a burglaration, and then probably plague crafter, and then just loop this again. Maybe this is the new deck. Just play four Sorins and four Playcrafters. Alright. Normally I'd be excited to play Dinosaurs, but the level of deck I've been playing against has been so low. I assume that this is going to be Whiptail Grazers and weird shit cards. As opposed to... 
get Harleys and, and sh dildos. Alright, no point wasting Playcrafter if he ain't got nothing. Right? So we're not doing a lot of discarding. Despite what I said on the box. Rhythm. That's dangerous. That's good though. So... No attacks. We'll do the Playcrafter trick a couple of times, then blow everyone up. I play Cleansing Nova for this kind of a problem. We'll see. We'll cease! No hand discarded at all! That's some good deck building, Cheeks. You fucking mag. <laughs> Alright, rip your knobs. That is bad. So he gets to draw a card. So... Burglar Rat doing the opposite of what he was designed to do. Giving peeps cards. Good spaghetti. That's good. Alright. We're back on. We're back on the reanimates. We're back on the discards. So, I think... I don't know how long you wait before you Nova this. Because I'm going to get fucking tanked with all the hasty shit. I think you just got to do it next turn. He probably plays four. But what can I do? Just... This, this, is, this is not a sustainable situation. Just like Luis's weight gain. It just can't be, it just can't go on forever. So now everything has haste anyway. Soren takes three. I can't reanimate the rat. Alright. So, we'll know over this. Such a fucking big spell for, uh, for a three mana enchantment. We'll hold our balls. We'll take a slap in the chops. I gotta play this first. Unless there's something seriously risky. Well, everything has haste. So if he plays Itali, he's getting a full fondlage. There's nothing I could do about it anyway. Alright, all of these guys can blow up. Right. What do I want to really risk it? Do I want to really... I think I want to risk it. Just push it just a little bit harder. One, two, three, four. That's nice. That's everything. So we'll restart the game. Yeah, we'll restart the game. But from what position? Who can say? Who can say? Hopefully this is... Nah, no, it was a land. It was just a land. So I'm not going to let him draw any cards, obviously. Blow up all the peeps. And then, like I said, restart the game. That's not a good card. I needed I needed my Liliana that I don't play. Because, you know, I'm too good. I'm too good to play meta shit. So top deck wars. He's got dinosaurs. I've got discard. Yeah, of course. Naturally. Naturally. So he gets his best card. What do I get? I got a lead! Good old Majiks. Good old Majiks. I can never be truly mad. Oh, fuck that. Just when you think. Just when you think you played around it. Just pure bullshit. Pure bullshits. Alright, I ain't winning this one. Nah, you never know. Well, you do know. So, double rhythms. I've got to take four. Hope for the best. What is the best in this situation? Sorin. I'm just due a discard spell. Alright. So, any creatures? No. That's not a good attack. That's not a good attack. I 
I can't blow up two. I can't blow up two rhythms though. Yeah, I just, I just can't blow up two rhythms. That's the problem. Nah, all of this stuff's useless now. All of that stuff's useless now, fam. But, but we knew that. That This is why I don't play this kind of a deck in ranked or constructed. Just not good enough. Just not good enough. Every fight makes me stronger. No one knows the wilds like I do. So if Hall looks for a single creature, anything kills me. Pretty much. Gotta be murder. Hold your spaghetti for that moidles. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to say that guy's deck, despite not having a single dual land, was just properly perfect. <laughs> Legit, I only have one Regisaur Alpha in my whole collection. That's me, Mr. Moneybags, Mr. Patreon, one. And that guy's just busting them out. You don't need to buy any rare lands, but fuck it. Lands are for dweebs. Cards are for studs. Nobody won a game with a land. Nobody top deck a dual land and was like, bam, done. You top deck Regisaur Alphas and you win games. You fucking bull chops. <laughs> so, so, it's a bit, it's a bit, you know, something. I never know what to do with my vicious rumors. I'm pretty sure you shouldn't just bang them out on the first turn. But you never know. So, I think you go treasure map and build a base of digestive biscuit before you start putting the cheesecake of burglar rats on top. Right? That's what I think. Especially if you're choked for land. That's what I, that's what I think, ladies and shits. I ain't got all the answers to magic. I've got all the answers to everything else. All right, this deck is beatable with her Kaya's Wrath. Need lands. So what do you think? A Duress or a Divest? I'm going to say Duress. Double negates. What a pussy. <laughs> Little bitch. Also, massacre worm, kill your own board. Sounds sounds good. Mm. I I'm just not scared of a massacre girl. So play this. Let's think. Burglar rat. Yeah. You do have to uh, respect. He probably just opened this and was like, I'm playing it. I like it. Those, those are the kind of decisions that uh, make magic more interesting. That was lucky because I didn't. I wasn't concentrating. Mm, all right. Well. We'll get rid of Massacre Tits. Rascal's Contempt. It's not great. Ooh, you know what is great? You know what is great? Come on, the shit balls. Massacre Girl. Clean everyone's balls. Give them a nice ball cleanage. Yeah. We'll give them a ball cleanage. So I can't block. I can't block because I need the Cascade. To be minus one, minus one, minus three. Yeah. Right. I can't block. Because i that's perfect. Now we've got a full cascade. So Massacre Girl is what? Four or five? Five. So, yeah, there's nothing else. I don't need anything else. That is a legit massacre. 
Eat my balls. So, so I could have played... Uh, you know what I should have done? You know what I should have done? I should have played Playcrafter, sacrificed it, made him discard uh, Raska's Contempt. That's what I should... If I was good at Majiks, that's what I would have done. But I ain't. So I can play... Well, we'll see. I still... I may play this. Actually... Let's have a look what's on top first. We'll do, it. we'll do the correct sequencing. So, is he holding a land? I don't care anymore. Kabams. That's the discards. That's the discards, ladies and peeps. 26 minutes. I'm it's yeah, it's a relaxed video. I'm sure some of you will be like, uh, I don't like cheeks when he just play him and doesn't give a shit. I need him full. Everybody is a pussy bitch. Vitriolic maniac. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, maybe. I'm just relaxed. I've done far too much lemon jiff. So, yeah, that seems alright. So, 100% net deck uh, pussies. What a fucking... Why are you playing this in unranked, you filthy bitch? The minute I say... The minute I say I'm not going mad. The minute I have to play net deck fucking pussy aristocrat. Cunt virgin losers. What are you gonna do? By the way, I don't care. Honestly. For it for today, play what you want in unranked, except mono red. Although this is this is mono reddish, and it looks very mono ready. You filthy losers. So because I got five sweepers, I think I can do some of this shit. Nope. So, in an emergency, let's see how much mana and life I will just lose off the basis of this. Two. Four. Five. Six. And then another three. So, I've got about seven life to play with before I need to start figure figuring out what to do with my moidles. I just need a Kai's Wrath, I think. Or a Basilica Bell Bags. Something like that. Alright, Divest is okay for now. Oh, you pussy. You fucking pussy. Uh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? He's gotta get his dailies, but he can't use uh, Goldfish decks in ranked or a constructed event. Just like I play this instead of Liliana, he's not he's not doing any experimental bullshit except being a fucking bitch. You fucking flaccid loser. Oh, fucking stinking whore. So I didn't realize he didn't have any white. You get in my belly. You bullbag. So the reason why I'm just doing it now is because if I play Horn of the High Tower, I still take three from this. So it's not it's not good, Majiks. So play this and then this. I play this and I have to hold my balls. If my balls remain intact for this last card, we're all right. Hold the, oh, we might get there, ladies and chips. That's pretty good if I can gain enough life. So, this is the pivotal turn. What's he got in his hand? He's going to draw... Uh, well, cast down won't work. Brassus Contempt. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yep, those are your lands. It counts to six. Yeah, I don't know why you're doing this. We can use our eyeballs. 
So, if I murder this... Alright, let's go. That seems like... <laughs> whatever, you fucking bitch. So, if I murder this now... Uh, this gets a plus one counter, which is better than anything else. I'd much rather get that saucy life links. So, one more attack, then come on the Dread Horde for all his little filthy virgin pussy cards. Well, yeah. Plus, I got a draw. We'll see what the, what it is. That's probably not what I want. So if I, if I were to play this, he would sacrifice this. This has got up to five. It's just not enough spaghetti. So we're going to risk a command. For how much? Two. For five. Go down to three. I think that's okay. Now what? Now what, Mr. Ju Premium Judies? Nah. Nah, it's just not good enough, son. Your goldfish deck is just not as good as my silly bollocks deck. <laughs> Nothing chaps my ass worse than an identifiable 60-card deck against something that I've just thrown together because I still think magic is fun. I still think a nice combination of cards is interesting. But not this dude. Not this dude. He's rubbing his muff. Rubbing his muffage. So let's see. How much damage? That equals three. I take one. That's fine. He puts two cards in the grave. This gets two more counters. I'll put another card in the grave. Yeah. It's just, it's just, it's just out of... It's out of range. Out of range. Out of range heal. That's how you do it. Ladies and shits. That's how you do it when you're nice and relaxed. Everyone's a twat. You don't have Liliana, but it doesn't matter because Haunt of Your Mom's Baps is just prime bollocks. You know what? How long is that? 33 minutes. We'll end on a nice win. What am I doing? We'll open some packs. See if I can strengthen my PB. So. I'm only buying packs that don't rotate out like anyone would. So buy a bag of this, a bag of this, a bag of this, capital of big city fucky sheet. Let's see. That's all right. It seems like a mythic to me, but it isn't. That's fine. That's fun card. In unranked, if I'm going to feel at home in that f shithole, I think that's the kind of card that just screams unranked squeeblage. Smothering Tithe. I'm all about Smothering Tithe as well. Those are two solid cards that I enjoy playing. Narset. I think I've got enough of those. Enter the God Shits is good. Rare bollocks is always good. So, this is going to make or break it. Everything's been solid, but nothing's been spectacular, but nothing's been shit. Is this going to be spectacular or shit? I think it's going to be one or two. I'm going to say that's a spectacular slap in the balls. So, ladies and slags, rub my bollocks. Right? <laughs> I don't know. That, that was a weird ending. Even by my standards, I don't know what I'm doing. Rub my balls.